بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو سالار خان یوٹیوب چینل کنٹینیوئنگ دا ٹاپک آف بی جے ٹی بایسنگ سو ویو سین تھری ٹو ڈے وی سی دا فورتھ رائٹ سو دا فورتھ از واٹ اٹس دی کلیکٹر فیڈ بیک بایسنگ کلیکٹر فیڈ بیک بایسنگ اور اٹ از آلسو کال اے کلیکٹر ٹو بیس بایسنگ کلیکٹر ٹو بیس biasing fine yes so you know the term a uh, feedback feedback is what when you take something from the output and refer it back to the input right yes so that is the feedback so have a look what do we have in this circuit is supply voltage vcc rc the emitter is directly grounded okay and and then you have this this is your base terminal and this is your rb so have a look some sort of so output connected to the input back output is what it's the collector terminal input is what it's the base terminal so we are referring some output back to the input this is what this is called feedback and this biasing scheme this is called the collector feedback biasing with no emitter resistance this one okay collector feedback biasing or the collector to base biasing so again considering the npn transistor you have this so this is your base current ib IE which is equal to IB plus IC now the IC current would be flowing through this branch IC the through the collector right so the current through the resistance RC this is not going to be IC rather this is going to be a current I a current I okay and if you see uh, this is being divided into two parts at this node so you apply the case the KCL to this node would apply what that the current I which is passing through the resistance RC this is the sum of the base current IB and the collector current IC the collector current is not the current passing through the resistance RC it is the current that is passing in the collector terminal so in the previous ones you've seen that that was the same current but over here it's being divided first you know the the basics and let me tell you the weather is just extremely beautiful outside it was quite sunny in the morning and then it became cloudy and out of nowhere it has started raining beautifully so anyways I am quite happy in the beautiful weather. So, what do you have to do now? What do we do? Again, find the current IB through what? Through KVL in the input loop. Then find IC through beta times IB. Yes, and then find VCE through the output loop. Right? So, so this is your plus minus VBE. This would be encountered in the input side, and this is the plus minus vce which would be encountered in the in the output side so the input kvl input kvl what does it state vcc minus ib plus ic times rc minus ib rb Uh, minus VBE equal to zero isn't it like this have they done the replacement yes now uh, IC is equal to what it's beta times IB right yes but this is only true for the amplification region IC is beta times IB now now you have what VCC uh, minus let me take this beta the the rc terms first common as well so i have minus beta times rc is taken common beta times rc is taken common and then you have what uh, you have ib minus ib ib minus ib no wrong rc only common rc is only common so you have ib and then you have what plus beta times ib 
and then you have minus IB RB minus VBE equal to 0 yes yes now what can you do is you can take uh, uh, what IB common from these two VCC minus O RC into IB is common you have a beta plus 1 minus IB RB minus VBE equal to 0 VCC minus take IB common IB is taken common you have what you have beta plus 1 times RC minus RB minus VBE equal to 0 just got a little long no problem you have what you found the value of IB IB comes out to be VCC minus VBE upon what beta plus 1 times RC minus a RB is it like this beta plus 1 times now beta plus 1 times RC plus RB this is plus RB I've had a mistake somewhere because I've taken minus IB common so I will have this as a plus I will have this as a plus anyways so this is IB the equation for IB now what do you have IC would be beta times IB so it's the same thing right yes and then you have what you can apply KVL to the output loop to find your uh, VCE right so you have the output KVL so that would imply what VCC minus IB plus IC times RC yes minus VCE and then this is equal to 0 so have a look you have at this stage you don't need to put IC equal to beta times IB why because you've got the value of IC also you've got the value of IB also so VCE you can just directly write from here VCE you can write from here which is VCC minus a IB plus IC times RC is that fine it is so that is it that is all the things you need to know you need to have your IC you need to have your VC that are the coordinates of the Q point and and, and that is it about it right now the stability factor this is going to be your homework okay I'm not going to do it so s which is equal to one uh, one plus beta over one minus beta times d i b d i c you you have to find it out this is your homework okay so what do you have to do you take the input qvl equation this thing and you take the derivative with respect to ic you find d i b d i c and then put that value over here and and let me know in the comment section what is the answer okay i also gave you a homework in the previous one and you have not answered that so you need to answer the comment section it doesn't matter if it's wrong doesn't matter if it's wrong of course right so so that is it about it so i let's see we talk about this in a more in a more precise way what do we have is the advantages this stabilizes the q points again the temperature against the biasing voltage and against the beta value now how is that so i see you can see that IC is what? It's beta times IB. So IC is equal to beta times VCC minus VBE divided by beta plus 1 times RC plus RB, right? So what can you do is you can say that a beta plus 1 times RC would be far greater than RB, right? Beta plus 1 times RC would be far greater than the resistance RB yes and then you can say that beta plus 1 is approximately equal to beta so 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 you would have what you would have IC is equal to beta times VCC minus VBE divided by beta times RC so 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 this beta would cancel out with this beta and the final expression for the current ic you would get is vcc minus vbe divided by rc so have a look this is independent of the value of beta so we have done what 
we have quite stabilized it so the stability factor i did not found out in this case i i, I worked on it in another fashion so i've made the collector current independent of the value of beta by making some assumptions so these are some advantages of this one right but now we, we would have another we, we, we would have a disadvantage as well we would say that if beta times rc is far greater than rb beta times rc beta times rc is greater than rb right so most of the time this beta is unknown if this beta is unknown you have to make your rc quite large so if RC is very large, you have again got a disadvantage. You have a very high value of resistance required. If RC is very large, this would say that VC should be large. If RC is large, then you would need a, a large VC as well. Voltage across the collector. So the biasing voltage would increase. This is again a disadvantage. And if this is the case, the base resistance would decrease. And if the base resistance decreases, the biasing, the reverse bias of the collector to base junction will reduce. If this is the case, the reverse bias of collector base will reduce. So these are the disadvantages of this of this particular configuration. Is that clear? It is. Right? Yes. Now what do we have? Let's say I talk about an example quickly as well. So VCC given is what? Given. Let's say I talk about an example. So given. Given is VCC which is equal to 20 volts. RC is 1 kilo ohms. RB is 100 kilo ohms. Beta is 100. Uh, and, and what is unknown? The Of course the operating point is unknown. So, so you have to go what? You have to go stepwise. You have to go a stepwise. First what do you need to find out? You need to find out IB. Uh, okay, so everything is given. Everything is given. So find out IB through this formula. IB is what? IB is VCC 20 minus VBE is 0.7 considering a silicon transistor. Let's say it's given in the question. Then you have a beta plus 1, 101 times RC. RC is 1 kilo plus RB which is what? 100 kilo. Do the calculations. The base current comes out to be uh, 96 micro amperes 96 micro amperes or 0 0.96 0 0.096 0 0.096 yes 0 0.096 milliamperes fine yes so you've got the value of IB now you can calculate the value of IC which would be beta times IB so beta is 100 and then you have 0 0.096 into 10 to the negative 3 IC comes out to be 9.6 milliamperes yes so 9.6 milliamperes you've got IC you can find out VCE VCE is what it's VCC 20 minus IB plus IC so 0 0.096 plus 9.6 both are in milli milli range into RC which is 1 kilo ohms VCE comes out to be 10.34 volts, 10.34 volts. So which means what that the Q point, the operating point that is required is what the coordinates are. The voltage is 10.34, the current is what is 9.6 milliamperes. And this is your answer. So I believe this is it for the collector feedback biasing. I see you in the next video with the next biasing configuration. Till then take care. Goodbye.